was named after a Colonel William Fielding, who was a director of Immigrants and Colonists Aid Corporation Limited, and he came here to purchase land for the British immigration scheme. So he bought 100,000 acres off Wellington's provincial government in 1871. And it turned out that Fielding was one of only a few successful private immigration schemes in New Zealand. And Fielding became the hub of agriculture and farming to supply food and wool for not just New Zealand but the world. In the 1800s, Fielding and the area around it was known as the Manchester Block. And now, Fielding has a Manchester Square in the middle of it, and every Friday morning, it has Market Day. The first sale at these sale yards was in 1880 at the same site, just 50 metres from the town's main street. And the pens cater for sheep, cattle and deer in these largest sale yards in New Zealand. Twice a week, the sales of stock take place. And around 50,000 cattle and 450,000 sheep are sold here annually, making it a $2 million per week enterprise. Whoa. Poor stinks too. Okay, I think we get the gist of it. Now the plaque at the bottom of the sculpture of a farmer and a dog says that this statue has been erected as a tribute to the shepherds, stockmen and drovers and all who have worked the land. For over a century they have been the lifeblood of fielding. Nice little mini pot. Isn't it? <laughs> kind of a kid, eh? This bridge was erected in 1900 by New Zealand Railways as an over-rail bridge for fielding pedestrians until 1978 when it was moved to this site so as to preserve its historical status. Decent size. Look. Diving board one. Oh. 
Bushwalks too. How lovely. Anyway, I'm not going for a bushwalk today. So stop it. I'm just being nosy. This will be wisteria. There's not else. What have we got here? Hello. Hi. Hi. So pretty. Look at you. Two different colours. Hello. What you doing? Look how powerful you are. Pleasant. Who am I talking to when Robert's over there? I thought I was talking to you. You're not following me. It's lovely. I like it a lot. Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon, was once called Manfield Auto Course, and it was built by the Manawatu Car Club in 1973 as a purpose-built course. In 1990, extra land was acquired, so the circuit was extended, bringing Manfield up to international standards. The circuit was renamed Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon, in honour of former New Zealand Formula One driver Chris Amon in November of 2016. And the name Manfield comes from the region of Manawatu and of Fielding, the town it is in. And I've been spelling it I oh no.
to say that one. I was here a minute ago. What? Why didn't I see it? <laughs> I was blind, mean. Okay, and we've got little fatty eatery over there. Got that name. 